Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make this circular halftone background pattern in Adobe Illustrator. And we're going to be making it with the blend tool. So let's get started. Let's begin by making a circle by pressing L to get our circle button and clicking. And we want our circle to be 500 by 500 pixels. And this artboard is 1920 by 1080. Press OK. Good. Make sure the circle has no fill. So we're just going to get rid of that. Now select your circle. Press S, which is your scale button, and click in the middle and hold and hold Alt and Shift. This will just duplicate the object until you get to hmm, yay big. Maybe we might make that a tiny bit smaller. Just holding Shift to about there. Okay, good. Now select this shape and this shape, and we're going to start using the Blend tool. We'll go to Object blend blend options and we want to do specified steps and we want about four steps between these two bits what this is going to do is going to make four of these circles between this point and that point press ok and now after you do that you see nothing happened well you have to go to object blend and you have to make and there you go now we have one two three four shapes between the two good now select all your circles like this and we're going to go to Object, Blend, and Expand. Now all of your objects are individual once you right click and ungroup. So now we can choose this and this and this. One other thing we're going to do, we're going to use the scissors tool. If you click this and you want to cut these circles in half. So hit the anchor point up here, here, here. And just repeat this all the way down through all of your points on the top and the bottom. Make sure you hit that anchor when you cut it. Cool. Great. Now we're going to press L and we're going to make our first shape. Let's click right here and let's make a circle about 20 by 20. It's I think good enough. We're going to reverse this shift X that just switches from the stroke to the fill. So now it's a filled circle. Press L and make another circle below it. You see it in the line right here and let's make it five by five. Let's see that it's pretty small. That looks good. Good. Now we're going to select this and we're going to use the blend tool again. So we'll go to object blend and we're going to go blend options first. And now we're going to do specified distance. And we want a distance that we replicate this object a whole bunch of times, but that the objects don't overlap. So since we know that this object is 20 pixels wide, it's simple. Just make sure that this distance is bigger than 20 pixels. So we'll choose something like 25 and press OK. Then again, we have to go to Object, Blend, and Make. And see, now it's 20 plus 5, and now there's no overlap. That looks about good. Now select this object, hold Alt and Shift, and make a couple copies. So I'm just holding Alt and Shift and clicking and dragging like that. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and one more just for good measure. Okay, good. Now. Select your shape right here. It's cut in half. Hold shift and select your blended line and go to object, blend and replace spine. Do this for each step. Click on here, here. I'm holding shift when I click on both of them. Blend, replace spine. Here and here, object, blend, replace spine. And same deal for these two objects. We're almost there, guys. Replace spine there and there. Object, blend, and we just have one more in here. Let's get it done. Cool. That looks perfect. Now we can select this half. We can delete it. We don't need that anymore. And we can select all of our objects right here. Go to Object, Blend, and Expand. Now, go to Object, Transform, and Reflect. And when this box pops up, make sure that we're reflecting along uh, the vertical axis. It should be 90, well, it should be vertical, it should be on 90. Uh, you want Preview to be on, and make sure you press Copy. That's super important. Then, I'm just gonna hold Shift, and make sure that this overlaps like that. So all the lines now overlap. That looks perfect. Cool. So having done that, 
This is all separate objects. We're going to select all of our objects like here and press Control G. That just groups them together. We can get rid of this line because we don't need that anymore. And we're going to move it over here. And now I'm going to give this just a different color for now. Let's give it an orange like we had before. And yeah, that all looks good. Now let's move it down to this corner right here. So the center is roughly on that corner. And we're going to move it by holding Shift and Alt until these points kind of overlap. We'll see them overlap when they do something like that. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. So these two points overlap, these points don't overlap. And we're going to press Control D, Control D, and Control D. Okay. Now we need to do some little fine adjustments. So this is all grouped as one object, that's good. But we can select each one of these circles individually by pressing A and then clicking on the object right here. And we're just going to delete these two points right here. It just makes it a bit cleaner. It looks like the shape is moving into itself like that. And we're going to do the same on each one. So remember, I have the A uh, key selected or pressed. Because if you use the direct select key, the V, you end up selecting everything. So press A and you just select one object at a time. Delete, delete. And I think we're good there. Yeah, I think we can, we can work with this. So now let's select all of these objects. Hold, Alt and Shift. And we want to bring it up to Let's bring it up to here and we're going to readjust it in a moment. So I'm going to hold shift. And so you want this middle to be right here effectively. So we can move it roughly to there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Hold shift and now adjust it so that these little lines aren't touching, but they're very close to this. You don't want any of these little points to overlap with these. So just check and everything should be done so that looks really good like that i like that then select your entire shape again click alt and shift and we're going to drag it and move it up to here and so it does the exact same thing so we want it to be just a tiny bit away like that so just a tiny bit off that looks good and then after you do that press ctrl d ctrl d is just going to replicate what you just did okay so now that we have all that we're going to select our entire shape. We'll do one more thing to make it look a bit nicer. You can press R, which rotates it. And we're going to rotate it by about 45 degrees like that. Then we're going to move it down so that we have some overlap onto our shape like that. We're doing great. And the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to mask this. That's really simple. I'm just going to create a box over top of this entire shape. So from that corner to that corner, it doesn't matter what color the box is because it's just going to be a mask, then select all of your shapes like this, right click on top, make clipping mask. And there you have it. So I kind of mix missed with the box. You can see that uh, it went off, but I can adjust that by just adjusting the box like that. And same with right here. And right here. Ooh, I butchered that box. Okay, but there you have it. That's all it takes. So. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, give it a shot. Play with the blend sizes, uh, play with the colors. You can get a lot of really cool effects with this. Um, if you have any questions, write them in the comments below. Um, if you have any suggestions for other tutorials, uh, please let me know. Hit the like button, subscribe if you like this, share, and of course, as always, have a great day.